Hello, Tiny Home Tours. I'm Josh with Veterans Community Project, and we're excited to go on a tour of one of our tiny houses. We specialize in housing homeless vets right here in Kansas City using the tiny house model. And right here off 89th and Troost, we've got 49 houses and 49 vets set to move in. A VCP was founded by combat vets who were, who were frustrated at a system that they felt were leaving their brothers and sisters behind. From its infancy, we knew we wanted to end veteran homelessness and we wanted to do it in a creative way. And we also wanted to involve the community. The tiny houses are an amazing movement happening in this country right now. And we're finding that they are a real instrument of autonomy and healing. So we started on Christmas Eve, 2017 and um, veterans moved in January 29th, 2018. So we had to do a lot. It was 13 houses that we built about three and a half weeks and it took the entire staff uh, pretty much 23 hours a day to get that done, but we were committed to doing it. And we put the first house on that land and it was only on a trailer, it was just to show We've got this and we've changed the design and everything since then, but once people saw this is what we wanted to do, that's when the support came. We love how low impact it is on the environment. We love how efficient it is. These are all stick built on concrete slabs. It's an incredible process. When we bought the land, there was no infrastructure. It was a huge 4.9 acre piece of land. There was no plumbing, no electric, nothing. These run just like a house, any house that you would see. The veterans that we serve often have post-traumatic stress, whether it's related to their service or it's related to their life on the street. Um, getting them out of survival mode means putting them in a place that's really safe and having visuals on one side and then one entry in and out really um, accelerates the process. It's a big deal. Uh, and down in the village, these windows are gonna face what would be this wall. So the windows don't peer in at each other. It's a pretty cool thing. Uh, and it was done by design. The second reason we did that is we wanted to run the wiring and the plumbing on one side of the house. So we were able to get that done knowing the design was gonna be done this way. All the houses are outfitted with some furniture that the veterans get to keep when they move out, when they leave. All of it goes with them, every bit of it. It's pretty cool. And the next vet moves in, we replace it all. They walk into a brand new house. It smells good, feels good. It's all their own. chair set. Um, that's a hit. Most of them want something like that. They want a little workstation, put their laptop up. You gotta have a TV. We're big Chiefs uh, fans here in Kansas City. Mitsubishi gave us these mini splits. These are incredible and they're rated for 1,200 square feet and this is a 240 square foot tiny house. So this thing is super efficient. It doesn't have to run a long time and it keeps this place perfectly temperate. We wanted beds that were low. So in the military, you're taught any commotion or chaos is happening while you're sleeping to roll off your bed. So if we have any loft style bedding, it might cause a lot of problems. We wanted to go with these barn door style sliding doors. Uh, they are heavy, they're awesomely built and they slide, they, they give you the privacy you need. You come in here to the bathroom, showers, it's like a normal shower. Of course, these things are plumbed. They are connected right into the infrastructure of the city. So plumbing is right here. You don't have to go anywhere. You're not using a chemical toilet or a hose to shower off, which is a big deal, especially in the Kansas City winters. Sink, vanity, all of this, always brand new. And then we've got the Ream tankless water heater right here providing endless hot water. Of the first 26 that we have done, there are 26 veterans living in them right now. And uh, come November this year, we'll have 23 more houses done and be moving in 23 more vets. So we're gonna have 49 houses and a 5,000 square foot community center right here in this spot. Community center is gonna have amenities like a doctor's office, a dental office, a veterinary clinic, a barber shop, um, a training kitchen, a fellowship hall for everyone to come together. 
uh, it's going to be an incredible thing for these vets. But, uh, when a vet moves out, it, it usually takes less than 72 hours to get the next vet in there. So we're constantly doing outreach. We're constantly meeting people. We're constantly um, talking to people about their housing needs. <music>